So here's my question for each of you. If you want to take a moment to think about your answer, that's completely okay. Gather our thoughts. Yes. Are we going into a game? <laughs> this is a squid game, and uh, I have assassins behind each of you. And if you answer incorrectly, you're done. This is animation. Are you ready? Good, because I need the money. <laughs> <laughs> nice. So who do you agree with? Song Giyun or Il Nam? Meaning, was it something bad that they did? Is doing the squid game and offering this opportunity for people in debt like that, is that a bad thing or not? Because everyone came back after knowing what the games were. The rules allowed them to end it whenever they wanted to. So it became a very... You were very aware of what you were getting into. So who was right? Is it something like Giyun believes that they're doing to people and you're doing this terrible thing to people? Or is Il Nam correct? And is it's not your, we're not doing something to you. We're providing an opportunity. Who is correct? I mean, for me, yes, it was immoral. And I've mentioned this before. I'm a Kantian ethicist. My ethics are straight through that. You cannot use human beings as anything other than being human beings, they are not means to anything. They are ends unto themselves. And in this case, we were using human beings to provide entertainment. Even if we were giving them the choice to be the entertainment or not, that's what we were doing. Now it would be completely different. Say if it was, okay, all you combatants go into this room, no one's ever going to watch. You go play these games and you come and one comes out or a couple come out and they're the winners, then we might get into more of a gray area because are we using them at that point? But to use them for entertainment immediately, I would say is immoral. I also, violence is not, I'm a hippie where I don't want any violence at all. So violence is automatically immoral to me. So yeah, I agree with whichever one of those two names is the one that thought it was immoral. <laughs> Sung Giyun, our main our main character, who at the end is just telling him, I can't believe you did that to us. You did that to us. You did that to us. And that sentence in and of itself, I think, is is what propels his feelings about it. You did that to us. Right. Yeah. And then Il Nam, the old man, was like, no, we gave you an opportunity. So Jessica, Jess, between the two, who was right? Well, you know, I think that most people are going to side with the main character because that's the perspective that we know. You know, a lot of us, we're just normal people. We're not living like the rich, lavish lifestyle. And so I don't think that we could see things from the old man's point of view to where life got boring. And he saw, you know, like in the end where he was talking about, look, nobody's even going to help that drunk guy. You know, he's better off in the games because he's just out there suffering. He's going to die anyway in, you know, an hour. And so I think most people will side with the main character because we don't know how to think like the old man thought. And we just can't understand what things were like from his perspective because we don't live that lifestyle. And we don't know how he and his friends felt that they just needed some sort of entertainment. And even the old man, I mean, he put himself in the games, you know, and he could have died too, but he thought that it was so exciting that he was willing to go in and, and play the games too. So he really believed in his viewpoint enough to potentially die for it. He was also like 90 years old with a terminal illness. That is true. <laughs> right. Would he have <laughs> done the same if he was... In his prime. And he had been doing it, presumably, though, for decades, because I think the oldest one they show is like 1998, 1999. And they sort of implied that they were helping certain people win it, too, right? Is that what that's what the cop thing? Maybe not. I, that's what I thought the implication was, because the cop found out his brother won, right? Yeah, I think his brother won just through his own his own means. And then because he won, I feel like they 
I, I was wondering this, if like the people who win, if they invite them back to be managers, we don't know how the PlayStation buttons and stuff become the PlayStation buttons. Right. I feel like he was, le- which we don't need to know. Yeah. I feel like he was legitimately a winner though and was asked back or came back in some way. My opinion is a little bit more brutal than the two of yours, actually, with one caveat. For everyone who did not make it past the first game, so red light, green light, everyone who was killed in that game, Guyun is 100% right. Because when they started that game, they did not know what was going on. They did not know what they were in for. They were tricked into it, and then they were killed. For everyone who survived Red Light, Green Light, I believe Il Nam is correct. Because right, wrong, or indifferent, they were they knew what they were in for. They were given every opportunity to do it or not to. And if they decided to come back and they ended up expiring because of it, that was because of a decision they made. This also can get you into conversations about power and really did they have the the power to resist that? Maybe, maybe not, but I'll take the brutal position and say, other than the people who expired during red light, green light, Il Nam is the one who's correct in that. Are you, who are you asking uh, the morality of? Because I think those people who came back are also immoral. Yeah. Because they are trying to use violence and use these other human beings to get what they want, which is money, as, a, as opposed to treating the other human beings as ends to themselves. Right. They were trying to treat them as means. So I think, I mean, and I think that's a lot of what this show does and what a lot of good shows do is they ask questions. They don't preach to you. They don't say, oh, these are obviously the bad guys. I mean, they sort of, the VIPs are obviously portrayed as the bad guys. And and I would agree that they they are because of exactly what I said. But it allows these questions and allows this exploration without you feeling dumb, talked down to, persecuted for having a belief system or ideas different than the author or creators. Yeah. I'm thinking from the perspective of the players, who's right, I guess, is is what I was thinking about. You know, is it something that happened to them or is it something that they, an opportunity that was given? Well, that was a big, that's like I mentioned, that was a big moment for uh, Ji Hung and the coming back gave them the agency. So it made us feel a little bit more for them in terms of they're doing it now on their own, as opposed to in that first game when it's, again, just something else happening to them. And I know that this isn't technically anime, but this reminds me of like the Demon Slayer concept where the bad guys in Demon Slayer, they're very relatable and they do a great job of telling their story and showing their perspective where you can feel for them even though they're immoral or they're they're doing the bad things and they just do a really good job of turning the tables to where you just kind of can see that other perspective so i think this is kind of you know along those same lines where it's just trying to help you relate to why someone could possibly think it was okay well again it has that extremely meta element like gladiator are you not entertained when we are if you're under 40, like Gladiator, or over 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 35-ish, was that 99, 98? We can sit there and go, look at these VIPs and look how evil they are. And we also go, I wonder what the next game's going to be. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, right? very good. So we are those people, and it, it shows us that. That's part of, that's part of the, that meta aspect. That's part of the appeal of the show. Maybe that's why it was so cringe. The VIPs were so cringy to me because I saw myself in them. Dun, dun, dun. (laughs) Well, they didn't have to be. They didn't have to be that evil, right? They were the, in Gladiator, he's talking to the crowd, the nameless, faceless crowd, the plebes, the, the lowest class, right? Are you not entertained as I cut these guys' heads off? And this, they're showing us these kind of top honchos, and we're secretly hoping they get theirs. But at the same time, we are them because we are watching this this pretty graphic show. Yeah, so feel bad about that. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, that's all I've got for Squid Game Season 1. Is there anything else either of you would like to say about this series? No, except that it is brutal and graphic. So Definitely watch it. And you're not into that. Don't watch it. Otherwise... Go for it. But definitely watch it because it's great. (laughs) But probably watch it. Yeah. Yeah, But probably watch it anyway. 
and just be grossed out. Yeah, it is for adults for sure, as are the other ones I mentioned. So, um, and most of the ones, Merv, you mentioned are mostly for adults. I mean, it's it's very hard to get humans fighting humans in some sort of animalistic, violent setup without it being for adults. Hunger Games, I suppose. I thought Running Man was a really good call out, though. I didn't even think about that. I thought Running Man was a great call out for a comparison. I liked Alice in Borderlands. I thought that was like an amazing comparison. That was a great show. Very much so. Anyway, thank you so much for watching and or listening. You can find a bunch of links in the description of whatever you're watching. The easiest one to use the link tree. It sends you anywhere. Look forward to more episodes soon, and we'll talk to you in the next one. Thanks, everybody. Bye, everyone. Bye. Very cool. <laughs>